There is a place tucked away in a small tract of rainforest in southeastern Australia called Wallaby Creek. Set aside as a nature reserve and now a national park, Wallaby Creek is home to a fascinating array of life, including snakes, giant monitor lizards, kangaroos, wallabies, and over 300 species of birds. But it is one species of bird that has been the subject of a decades-long research project directed by a University of Maryland evolutionary biologist named Gerald Borgia, a fascinating bird called the satin bowerbird. Bowerbirds generally build bowers. Different species build different shapes of bowers. Satin bowerbirds build relatively small bowers, but they build very neat bowers. Then they go around and collect blue and put it on their bower. Once these elaborate bowers are constructed and decorated, females visit these bowers, testing the strength of the structure, looking at the decorations, and using all of these factors to determine mate choice. The courtship involves the male dancing, moving back and forth across the front of the bower, flicking his wings, displaying his various blue decorations, and even mimicking other species of birds, including cockatoos and kookaburras. Males also raid the bowers of rival males, stealing decorations and destroying other males' bowers. This is a way of kind of competing because what the females do is they come into an area and they search around bowers and they're comparing males in a particular area. So if you can kind of reduce the quality of the bowers of other males, then that improves your chances of the females wanting to mate with you. What's unique about bowerbirds is that they mate almost exclusively in bowers. This presents a rare opportunity for Borgia and his team of researchers. We could put cameras on each individual bower and monitor it, and at the end of the season, we could have a complete record of everything that those birds did. This is unparalleled in any kind of research. Cameras are set up at each bower, equipped with infrared sensors, so when the bird comes, the sensor is triggered and the cameras begin recording. A team of Maryland grad students and field assistants hike out into the rainforest twice a day to change the videotapes and check on the unique power supply. The cameras are powered by car batteries, so the assistants have the wonderful task of carrying car batteries up steep hills in the mud to the very distant bowers. In addition to hauling heavy car batteries through the rainforest, field assistants encounter some rather challenging living conditions. The living conditions at Wallaby Creek were a little rough. We would take the baths in the creek. It's pretty rustic. There were snakes living in the house sometimes. Some people just enjoyed it and loved it, and other people found it a little too much. Still, field assistants who can endure the hardships find themselves in the truly wonderful environment of Wallaby Creek. It's just an amazing place with a lot of different life going on, and you just see amazing things over there. I mean, walking down a trail, you see a koala, you see a giant python eating a wallaby. Every day you go out, you see something new. Ultimately, though, it comes back to the research. Borgia's long-term study is crucial because of the bird's long lifespan. To understand what their reproductive life is about, you have to follow them year after year. The hypothesis that we're testing is that the part of genetic variation that's most important is to remove deleterious alleles that happen in the genome. What we want to do is sequence the genome of bowerbirds and then look for what are called SNPs. These are deleterious mutations and see if what we think is correct that the males who are at the top of the lek, who the females like the best, are the ones with the fewest deleterious mutations. Are these deleterious mutations important for mate choice and bower roots, well, that extends to every other species. In other words, every species has deleterious mutations happening in it. It is a real general question and one that actually needs to be answered. <laughs>